shoes. All right, this is a little uh, nerve wracking for me. Um, <laughs> uh, first off, like uh, Mara was in movies at a very formative time for me, so I'm a little uh, nervous <laughs> about that. And uh, secondly, like uh, when I tell the story, I tend I tend to burn bridges with strangers, and I don't know why that happens, but it seems to happen repeatedly. Um, so I'm actually at a point in my life now where I'm doing better than, like, I'm more confident in who I am and what I, what I'm going than I've ever been. Uh, if I were to pick a moment that triggered that, like, the uh, improvement in my life, it was when I thought I got blacklisted by polyamorists. Uh, that happened, like, in April. Uh, and so this, this is a real story. Uh, backstory, like I went to University of Chicago, which is a very nerdy school, and I was in the nerdiest dorm at the nerdiest school, and uh, there were people, and like, you know, there's intelligence maturity, emotional maturity, it's like nothing, it's like crazy. Um, and so I was, uh, I was in a dorm, and there were some cool people there that were kind of notorious because uh, they were like vegan, they all hung out in like the Mac lab, uh, but they were notorious mostly because they were all fucking each other. And uh, I had some friends who were kind of in that, but I'm like in the fringes of every scene I've ever been in. So like I had friends who were, and I had friends who left that because like, over the course of like four years in college, I saw just like dozens of like relationships destroyed and like, friendships broken up and like even like two or three degrees away so I was not cool with that um, and I see a lot of frowns uh, in the audience right now so like that's just my personal thing you can do uh, whatever you want uh, but so I was a little hesitant about it but in college I had like much bigger things I was worried about and all that so it was fine I didn't really like deal with it uh, until uh, about a year ago uh, there was, I ran, I moved back to New York a year and a half ago and I was kind of in this stage like, let's try the single thing, let's see what happens. And uh, that lasted four months. And what broke that kind of was, I ran to someone who went to college, the same college I did. Uh, we didn't know each other then, but we had the same friends who were kind of in that polyamory scene, but not really. Uh, and she was married. Uh, and she was, told me that uh, I'm in an open marriage and I'm super into you. Uh, and I was like, you know, I was doing like, not like make any judgments kind of thing. So I was like, okay. Uh, and then like a week of this happened and it was always kind of weird and terrible. And then she's like, I'm not cool with this. I'm like, I'm not either. Huh. And then like a few months later, I heard that she was no longer in an open marriage situation and almost not in a marriage and in a hospital in Florida and was like in the middle of a bipolar manic episode when that was going down. So it was just like, not involved like this actually really upset me i didn't want to hurt anyone and it, like everyone was pissed off at me and i was like i fucked that one up um so i was already kind of like on edge with this it's been like eight you know eight years building and then i um i went on a first date like about like a few months after this and i really like this girl but she was into that and i was not so i did this thing i should never do again where i said fuck this i'm gonna go on the blog tumblr and write my not friendly opinions on this uh. subject. And I I knew it would cause a shitstorm on like Facebook and all that. Like I know these people work, they, they're gonna like reblog it and like hate on me. And uh, I was still very impressed by how much far they went. It was like holy shit. And like I had a friend who came to my defense when this thing, which I didn't even want her to do, but she they found a photo of her and started making fun of her appearance. It was just like a nightmare thing, but I was like, right, it's on the internet, it doesn't matter, uh, fine. And then about two days after all this went down, um, like this was just like college people, it wasn't anyone in like, I do stand up, like it wasn't anyone in that scene. Uh, and then two days later at like 2 a.m., I get a very cryptic message from a former UCB instructor, uh, who I'm not gonna name at all, uh, and so, <laughs> And so he sent me a message at 2 a.m. And it was, it basically the message was, I, I don't want to work with you ever again. And there are people higher up at UCB who don't want to work with you ever again. I'm going to talk to them. And they defriended me on Facebook immediately. Uh, so I was, I was dealing with this at 2 a.m. And I was like freaking out. And like at 4 a.m. a friend's like, that's bullshit. Go to I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, finally. And then like a week or so of processing this, uh, there's more to it, but I don't have the time. It was just like, I was thinking, you know what? I started doing like comedy, you know, storytelling, whatever, like two years ago. 
And for the last two years, I've just been so paranoid about not offending anyone, like getting along with everyone, uh, not upsetting anyone like in this world. And then I realized, like, I'm gonna do that. Like, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> and I'm not gonna try to do it, but it's gonna happen. And like, I may as well just be myself. I've learned lessons in life before this. And like, don't try to deny those lessons. Uh, and so if anyone here isn't polyamory and frowning it, like, I will work with you. Uh, <laughs> I will be friends with you. I won't fuck you, but I will be friends with you everything else. That's great. All right, thank you guys.